bully butter. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back. Um not that you give a fuck what I do with my life. Unless you hate me. Okay. What we're gonna focus on now. survey so it's meant to
That is Psychology 101. Hold on, right here, sir. <laughs> okay. What is the plan? Oh, focus. I'm from the future, okay. Oh, so they stole this book. Oh, it's a revised version. Everything in the Bible is... Everything in this book is... God-based. Oh. I can't even read the Bible. Okay, I'm familiar, familiarize myself with Latin. Annual army list.
Hmm. I don't know, bro. Wait, what? Okay. 44. Oh, he made... Oh, my God, that's cool! So it took him 20 years to become a colonel. These are the colonels. Oh, I'm going to end years. That's smart. These guys are smart as fuck. That's really it? Is that, is that all to life? It's service. Those who live and die, those who will. That's crazy, dude.
wait a second. Oh shit, this is 18. Well, actually, they did this in the old, they did this in the US too, but. That's crazy! George Patterson Patents The telephone is 22774 Oh And this is a 19 1800s So the telephone numbers are only this big Unless I'm missing something They had all these businesses, they had everything, they had pattern makers, they had patent agents. You know, let's go. Where is this located? This is in... Oh yeah, that's right, there's every country that has got... <laughs> no, duh. That was dumb. He's got them.
daher Churches Scandinavian oh, Translator Yes, let's look at this Mark Society built on the uh, archive. Oh, that's something I would. Let me ask you a question. Secrets because it's so close to the last one.
ça. TV Alaskan Secrets. Some books about Alaska. Oh, let's see. Hey, ain't no one gonna pay for your book. Spider Woman. That's racist! That is right. Fuck yeah, I've got Alaska. Yay.
Oh, I'm back. I think I read this book already, never mind. Paratroopers. It's not Simon. You know, I'm actually curious, these... You ever think they came to, like, these guys over here in the US and just fucking... They, they dropped in color. That's crazy. The official language is French, though, no? Francis, yay!
Oh, that's cool! I'm gonna look at that real quick. Thank you, someone actually thought about this. a job.
Oh my god! Yeah! Did they actually do this though? Station abroad. Right, it's just an idea. A dictionary. Dictionaries make me happy.
That you so suck. You suck. So cool. Should the United States create a foreign foreign legion? Yes. So they've been talking about this for a long time. Before I was even born. They already have a French foreign legion though. They're just not. You can just. I don't know. Do they? Yeah, I guess they do. Let's see what they say. What about Black Lives Matter? Isn't that like their own fighting force because they have all the guns and shit? Or what are Proud Boys or the... Yeah, because they have a... Like, they have their own standing army, I think. Um, I remember them. Antifa too. Antifa is a foreign language. No, it's not a foreign. No, oh, never mind. It's, uh, that's just American Legion. A lot of groups... Um, uh, actually, every group in the U.S. probably has some type of militia. They have some type of militia. Uh, even gangs, you know. People don't really... They still, they still have a militia. Um...
See the foreign language is the way. The foreign language. The flying corpse. See, we're already reading. We're reading more than three books a day. Now we're, we're very smart. How are we not impressive? We just flew through a bunch of books. Told me we were precise. I don't need to know all this stuff. I'm not even being tested on this stuff. Okay, if I was being tested on this, what would I say? Oh, actually, yeah, what would I say? Their names aren't important because they're dead. I wouldn't even know. And the only thing I care about is the innovation and their ideas. And the ideas are pretty simple. Get a new identity, work for them, and then die. That is... These look like penguins! Random dictionary attacks. If I, if I went to your house and just said a bunch of random dictionary words, right? If I find out what you did, right? I'd find out what someone does and say, you know. Yeah, this is actually Yeah. Zero hut. You're in fortress. Whoa, they use their own sweat. This is nice. This is actually really nice. Our oh, center percent water. That is smart. I mean, uh, this is useful information. May not be the smartest, but it's very useful. See, earth baking. They get two for your earth and tour. Yes! Earth baking. Nice! Yes, okay, I see. Which I did. This is what they should do. This is what the homeless people should do. Okay, but. No, 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 I'm not gonna go that political route. Fuck that. New legionaries, okay. Technically, these guys are all kind of homeless, but. This is nice. This is what people should be doing.
It's a simple concept. It doesn't tell us how... Actually, I know how to do it. Oh, this guy's fucking hot. Um... He's very fit, like this is actually a, a peak, like a Roman. Is this guy a physician? Oh. Wait. Whoa! I don't think that works. Does that work? I don't want to do that. I want to. Well, I want to see if that works myself. The need, well, obviously the legionaries in the in the situation where they said the Mexican and Russia, they're not the good guys there. They're they're, they're invading another country. But still, I'm I'm impressed they have all this stuff. And also, they they don't have any resources and whatnot. That's just about like that's just what it is. I think most militaries are bad. I think that. I mean, obviously, African governments and African wars are probably more badass, They're more traumatic. Dude, but I guess the legionnaire makes makes it so like you don't want post traumatic sir, Okay, that's what I'm saying. Extortion. That is right. Wouldn't you want to be in the... If you... Never mind.
ठीक है Let the whole world know them a bully. Bullies, dude. supported That is very, that is very true.
March or Die. That is a great book. This is a great book. March or Die. If you will, if you keep on marching, you will survive. See what cover, cover says. Nice! Okay, this is great. Okay. First, God of Hala. Okay, this is... The only war on this was right here in the center. That's where the French Foreign Legion... That's where the American Legion should be. Or it would probably be in Florida. And it would probably be down here too. That's awesome. March or die. Yeah, go on walks every single day and you keep on marching. You, you, you don't give up. Landed off the coast. Dude, I need to buy some pizza. If I work on but What a hell of What if the French Foreign Legion... Why didn't the French Foreign Legion just live in the ground? They were in Mexico. Okay, they were in Mexico, right? The ground there... They were, it wasn't even... It was by the... It was... I'm not, I'm not sure. Actually, never mind. Because where they were stationed was a mining town. So they had a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah, they did. Ugh. Okay. Obviously, the defense for don't give a fuck. If they die, they die, you know? I would rather go like a. I would rather. I would, I would rather go die in a war. You know, dying in a war. It's noble. It's a great way to die. You get your shed. And the military. The whole thing about the military is that it's all about honor. It's all about honor. Obviously, the the, the people are fear.
<laughs> yeah! Wait, what? Oh. Now is worth trying to see what this is. Damn, that's fucking scary. We lost more of the soldiers in fucking Vietnam. Wait, 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 I gotta go back. I gotta read, I remember they built something. Because they, they didn't, the Vietnam didn't build the, the bunkers just because the U.S., they built them because of French, so what do they do? French resistance. Okay, whatever. I couldn't find it. I don't think it's here. Vietnam. Soldiers. After this, I have to go look at the plastic injection systems. Um, looking at this, it feels human. I like it a lot. I like looking at the French one. I don't, they're not impressive. They're just normal people just like us. What was noble about the French foundation was that they died for the nations. They died for nations. They died, they died for a cause, okay? There was this, um, yeah. Because once you're in the military and you die, it doesn't matter what allegations or whatever happened to you in the past, you're dead. You know, you're just, um, you're honorably dead. And if someone tries to say otherwise, you know, kind of be kind of, first off, it would under, it would kind of just undermine, it would undermine the cause of the military. The military doesn't like that, and, and it just makes you look like a piece of shit, because there's no, there's no point of, if someone's dead, what's the whole point of it? arguing with them? They're dead, and they died for a cause, and they had, and if they caused you trouble in the past, right? It, it doesn't matter. Unless, okay, there's a circumstance, like, if that person was talking shit about you, yeah, okay. Um, whatever, think to yourself, see your party, but like, if you went to the news and said that, I don't know. Oh, this is a good book. Martian Dive, the title just opens up. It just... It's a, it's a good title. Yeah, let's look at the plastic injection molding education system. Now, see, this is its own money. This is about... This is what fuels... This is what funds armies, okay? This is essentially the back... The back end of the... Of, um... Power. It's not honorable. You have, um... It's honorable in this way is that it can fund it to some, it, you know, you have to protect, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a hard job. It's a different type of life, that is. All these people that do plastic justice, they survive, of course. You do it, you do it, you go day by day, you do what you want to do. And of course, they go day by day because they make money. Okay, they get a paycheck, they, they can defend themselves, pretty easy. If you have a good PR team, of course, you know, it's not even about justice nowadays, it's about how much money you make. Um, that's always how it's been. And you can defend any, I uh, even, even Jeffrey Armstrong was defended for a long, like, you didn't even hear about it. No reason, like, his reputation was not defended that well, or, or uh, whatever, it was because he was in jail, okay? Um, and he wouldn't have gone in jail in the first place if he had just, if, if he had, um, why did he go to jail, actually? Oh, okay. Why did Jeffrey go to jail? 
I'm a little confused. Why did he end up in jail? Because he served his time. He was on a release. Why did Jeffrey Epstein go to jail? I don't remember. See, that's... A, it's, a, it's a big one that killed himself. But now I don't remember why he went to jail. It wasn't, it wasn't because... Like, he was accused of this stuff in the past, too. But why, why now? I think it's because he, he fled the country or something. That's probably why. Wait, if he was in he was in a foreign country, right? Why why did he just he was already out of the country, why did he come back? Should make no sense. I think that was just a dumb move I think it was just too cocky. I would, I would be cocky too. Processing injustice systems. Yeah, Jeffrey actually didn't kill himself, by the way. So, that'd yeah, be dumb. Still important because I, I hear like I was looking on the the California Correction website, right? And I heard they they, they actually bought a, a bunch of a, a lot of cameras and shit. Um, they they try to I think the, like Congress passed some laws or something. I guess so, right? So they those cameras and shit. But wouldn't it be kind of you, you know, even if they're finished in English, wouldn't it really be kind of fucked up to see Jeff and I kill himself? Like, imagine just having that footage. Like, like people actually just want that footage of Bill and himself, like killing himself. Like, I, I doubt, I doubt the government would even give it, give us to us, even if it's public record, just because they did. I, mean, I couldn't even get, you can't even get a, um, you can't even get a the video footage of a normal person unless like a cop or a public official does it themselves, or you know someone in. Um, uh, uh, if you if you really want it, so I mean, if there's an if the if the people in the prison have an agenda to release the footage, make them look really good, of course they're gonna release it. But if it makes themselves look bad, of course they're not gonna release it. Um, they have qualified. They have um. Yeah, it's just what it is. You pay money, and then and then you you also in fear of, you're also in fear of retaliation. Like if you request something and you go and then you go to jail afterwards, right? So it's kind of. Like, you know, you kind of scared, man. I do have to do a lot of bunch of FOIA requests too. Obviously, once you got a guy and like making a send the FOIA request and all that stuff, like once you have like a, there's gonna be some places where like the the FOIA request probably will always be accepted no matter what. Like they work hard to get you it. Like there's some there's a lot of good counties, um, but um, I doubt a lot of them are like that though. Just judging how how the government's always been. <laughs> do a PR, I would be a PR expert, you know, so you delete this, the modern processing this, it's pretty easy to, it's not even that, that's, uh, psychology is pretty, uh, obviously if Donald Trump could survive all these allegations and all that stuff, you, anyone could really do that shit, and the only reason why Jeffrey Epstein was, um, was killed, was, actually I don't think he even needed to be killed, Actually, I don't know. Yeah, that's why there's a whole form on this. I'm just making whatever. Um, he probably could have survived. He just didn't. That's whole. That's whole. That's whole reason why. Because you never hear hear about doing it. You were doing it. How how do you kill yourself? You know, it's just crazy. That's why I don't believe that shit happened. Because even if, even if you were even if you were a sex you still have a, you, you know you're still worth a lot of money. You know?
Or would I know? I see. Uh, okay, plastic injection warnings. It's crazy. I don't see any um, casting for radios. Cast. So, it's pretty obvious that they just use clay to eat moldy stuff. Fuel requirements. So, I'm guessing they have special tools or what are they doing? They have a computer. We do not specialize in radio cabinets. Well, that's very, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a weird advertisement. He just has a, imagine Walmart just having, um, advertisement that just says, we don't specialize in, you know, ponies or, I don't know. Research. Christian light. We should do oh a PR company, okay. Start a public I can do it myself too. I don't need anyone. Yeah. Yeah, rid of that. Make it a reputation. You just push over a bunch of positive shit. Inventions. And I could, I could fix. E okay. Basic technology. It's not even basic. It's actually it's it's basic now, but even back then it was kind of hard. Oh 
God bless me. Uh, plastic molds. Three tons. Five thousand. Sure, what people think about me. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you should care what people think about you. How am I supposed to make money? That is right. How am I supposed to make money if, if people think I'm a. I do care what you're going to be. I do care what you're going to be. How is this really? Hold huh, on, I'm going to make money. Of course it's very. Of course. Of course I care what you think of me. How am I supposed to make money? Money. Industrial uses. I care what people think of me. Yeah, I do care what people think of me, man. How much is making money? That's a very blatant thing. People always say, how, how, people say, you shouldn't care what people think of you. You should definitely care what people think of you. Okay? If they don't like you, okay, that's one thing. You could use you could use enemies, okay. There's some enemies you want you want to make. There's some you know. If you have enemies, you have enemies, okay. You want to have competition. If they're like malicious, if they're like, it's 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 there's a difference between playful playful enemies. If you play with them, they're gonna play back, okay. Um, that's just how things are, and that's fun, you know. If you if you're making this, if you're doing um, if you're in the hospital line and you um. Yeah, you want a competition? But if, you know, if you call them, uh, you know they, you know they, they're gonna mirror your behavior, okay? And if you, if your behavior is shitty, you're gonna get the same thing back. I don't know what you expect. Um, of course, I understand that people can't control how they behave or something like that. Um, obviously, you know the weird thing about trauma is that it makes you. Um, not be liked. Um, you act out bad, and you know. And of course, people are not gonna like you for that, and then it just contribute contributes to that trauma that you you, you put on yourself. Um, even though you could have changed your perception of, of reality, okay. Your own perception of reality, regardless of first impressions, can be changed over time. It takes a month to change them, brainwashing them into believing something. Um, that's not true. Obviously, Jeff Bernstein had a bunch of these resources too. Um, actually, not not even him. I don't, I'm not sure. But what I was gonna say is, um, I don't want you. Know, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just such a negative topic. Topic. Um, I don't want to talk about it. But I do want to talk about opinions of people. It does matter. Everything matters. Okay. If you all a shitty person, you're gonna get a shitty behavior back. Um, some people are pretty shitty. 
I saw the society we care about people thinking of each other. We care about people think. I care. Can victim blame. There are shitty people out there that will take advantage of your kindness and you can't and it's not, not even that they're gonna take it. You always you can't trust anyone, so because of that reason you always have to be a, you always have to be on your good behavior. Um, you can't do anything bad. And if someone falsely accuses you, you can easily destroy the reputation because you built up a reputation. It takes like a sec it takes a years to build a reputation, but only a second to fucking destroy it. Um Obviously yeah. So I would just suggest people to be a good person. Um I don't encourage I don't even I don't encourage moral violence, I encourage the law. Okay. Unless the law is not on my side. Yeah, of course I'm not gonna yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? But the law is always on everyone's side. It should be on the whole point of the US Constitution is that so that the law is on everyone's side, even people of probation and people um, who are criminal records, so the law should be on their side as well. Um, if you commit a crime, again, you go to jail, just like a normal person who is first time offender. Um, it's, um, it's all fair and equal. It's all fair and equal. You know, you should care what people think about you, but you shouldn't let it, um, you shouldn't let it dictate your whole life, okay? Um, not reading all this stuff right now, I can't, obviously, okay, look at this. Um, Hossus, what about this company right here? Do I care? What does what this, what, what does this mean? They're trying to, they have an ad, they have an advertisement, they, they have advertisements, so they care what people think about you. I mean, they're a good company. Because they care about the reputation of their product, and that's, they make a lot of money. Search, um, advertisements speak to the consumer and investor and, uh, why not? Um, if I use their products, it doesn't mean I'm a good person, okay? It just means I sympathize with them, I understand their reputation, I know, understand they're gonna make money, okay, because they have a good reputation. Um, of course, even if you have a bad, even if the company did have a bad reputation in the past, um, it's still gonna slow us to do something better in the future, okay? I'm a logical thinker. At least right now I am. Before, um, sometimes I have, um, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, oh yeah, sometimes I don't, I, I don't, I don't have sleep. And I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't eat the right food, so I just don't, I don't think I'll like, so. Right now, I'm, I'm fully fed, and I drink some soda. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm reading all these magazines and I'm kind of getting the big picture. The big picture here is like the advertisements great profit. Um, if I went to every single one of these um, things, if I went to every single, if I went to every single one of these uh, companies and, and bought something from them, I'm probably going to find something that I like. I'm probably going to be a consumer then somewhat. Because in order to, in order to make money, you have to, you have to, you have to have, in order to make money, you got to use money. What's the saying again? To make money, you gotta have money to make, you gotta have money to make money, that's it. Um, I'm very proud. Um, you should not be a knowing little shit either, you should be a normal person, like everyone else. It's a basic common behavior, you know. Unless your behavior is, it depends on the circumstances and, um, obviously if you said something in the past, you apologize for it. And if you said something, actually, sometimes, don't even apologize for it. Just move on. You know, uh, just ignore it. <coughs> no, I sneeze. There should never be a scenario where you have to forcibly apologize because that means the market systems in place are not competitive enough. And that means the economy is going to shit. Okay, there are thousands of people and you have to appeal to one of them to be a good person. Okay. I had people tell me you shouldn't care if people think about me. Okay, I care a lot, and these companies sure do. That's why the plastic digestion systems um, are not only oops. They're, they're based on quality product, but they're also based on reputation. Guard with your life, man. Um, looking for these corporations, I don't even know the I don't even know the founder's name. 
Um, all I, have, all I have to care about is how they advertise it, how they sell their product, and how they do this. Okay. If I went to every single company in the U.S. and I bought something from them, there's, there's going to be one of them that's going to be like, hey, I want to sell this product to you, but I, wanna, I, I appreciate your services. Um, I appreciate your money, your funding. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make these products for you for cheap um, because you helped me succeed in life. So I'll help you back. Um, if you help, I'm, 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 I'm being realistic here too. I'm, asking, I'm telling you, if you helped everyone in the USA, okay? Like, personally, um, help them. Of course, they're gonna, there's going to be people out there that um, they want to give back. They have morals, they have um, stuff like that. And the way I see things is that the more you help economy, the more you help economy, the more, more, more stability that you'll create. The more education. So right now, I'm throwing a lot of, I'm throwing hope. I know that I'm going to make money. I know I have hope. Um, so. I already went through a bunch of these books pretty quickly. Um, my future is, good, is looking good. Okay. I hate when people, uh, of course I hate, I hate when people say bad things about me. Especially when they're not true. But at the same time, I know in my heart that you should ignore them. You should accept that there are people who are going to say bad things about you. And you can't do anything about it. But you, what you can do about it is protect your own reputation online using search and email. Because if, if they're using something, if they're using media, right, to move those the masses, if you're thinking you're a bad person, you can do the same thing back. Okay? That's why there's unions and all and whatnot. So that's why there's police unions and stuff to make sure people don't mob in the police. Because police are, police are people too, but at the same time, we also want to have a justice system built on integrity and constitutionality. Um, the, the police unions also want to protect the, the good people, and the, there's good people, there's good cops, lots of good cops, and they're trying to do bad stuff. They're trying to do bad, malicious, horrible shit. Um, and that's not really that fault. That's just that's just based on a Congress person. There's nothing I can't think of a better system. Really. The only thing I've proposed about the police system, the police systems, um, is that there should be more cameras. There should be more uh, public records and all stuff. Um, I, I do. They should have qualified unity to do whatever they fuck they want. Because that's how things are now. I just want us to, be able to see that stuff. We can't control their actions. No matter how much we say, we can train them to do something. Um, that, um, they're always gonna have this. They're really going to be in They're really going to be in moral people. This, this is a, uh, you know, obviously being a police officer has a lot of, you deal with a lot of shitty situations. It's up for us, society, as to, well, first off, we should con combat crime and do it through peaceful, successful ways, such as social workers and whatnot. And obviously, giving someone a criminal record is not a good thing because it'll impair their ability to get jobs and. You know, work a senseless job. Now there are criminals out there that obviously make millions of dollars. Why would they tell you that? They wouldn't, because um, they want to keep their money. If they found out, if someone found out they're uh, they're a criminal and they're they are running a second company, they the cops are going to destroy them. It's simple as that. Um, but all they have to do is create a new LLC and boom, you're done. Um, or just cover it up. You don't need to create a new LLC. You just go to search and authorization and write new uh, shit that you. Um, the more stuff about you online, the more false, it's more misleading stuff. It's actually misleading. It's misleading. Like there's so many fake. You can you can pump up so many fake articles about you. All good stuff. And there's gonna be bad ones. It's gonna make, it's gonna be confused. You think is this guy a good person or not? You know, people gotta do what they gotta do. I get it. Okay. People do care about the reputation, and the fact that they care about the reputation means that they're probably a good person. Because they probably they won't make the same fucked up mistake again. Um, the whole point of humanity is to socialize each other in different type of ways. Um, and to do so, we must stick together. Obviously, um, there's puzzle pieces, and not everyone, not not a single person in the U.S. is ever is not really is not a good person. The only people that can successfully get away with mostly anything are good-looking people, people that have good looks. Those people are essentially like gods, or they could get away with anything without much cause. Just 
No, they're not psychopaths, okay? Psychopaths... Um... They act like, they act like psychopaths, but the minute they're ugly, they wouldn't be able to do anything as much. Um... So it looks... If you're a hot girl, obviously you get more... You get more power. That's just how the hierarchy is, okay? We obviously want to encourage good-looking people to do great things, and we want to encourage... Like the... Like the... Like the... Is it saying the, the ends... The... the the ends out need the, not the, the, the needs of the few, the needs of the many out, outweighs the needs of the few, so obviously, the, having a hot girl or, or, or a healthy person, a healthy person is what I'm trying to say, um, is better than having a fat person being sad, you know, you want to have, you want to have leaders that are fit, you want to have leaders that are, uh, healthy, if they're, unless they're unhealthy for reasons that are medical, okay, that's different, um, if you're fat, you're fat. And it could be the reason why they're fat. They could have suffered abuse and whatnot. Um, but that made them say that. So the whole point of bullying is to make them skinny. Use abuse to, to circumvent that abuse. You know, fight abuse abu of abuse. You know, obviously everyone's abused. And if you want to put a victim, there's a victimhood thing that Victims don't, the victims don't, don't, victims are victims because they are victims. Um, if you're a victim, you're a victim, so you're a victim. You're not, you're not, you're not a leader, you're, you're nothing. I don't, and not even, not even because, um, the, the whole justice system is built around the victimhood, okay? They're not, they're not inherently strong, they're not inherently good people, yeah, I don't like victims. Um, I like, I like people that fight through things, people that want to fight for what they believe in. Um, Obviously, if you're a victim of, if you're a victim of like a violence attack or you're, you're like you get shot in the face, that's something you know. You know what I'm saying? You still, you can still not be a victim. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying that there's not a perpetrator out there. You know, I'm just saying that victimhood does not really pay in most in, in a societal like in the in the grand scheme of things. You know, do you really want your neighbors being victims? Do you really want your sisters being victims? No, you want everyone to be heroes. You want everyone to be fighters. Um, I don't like, you know, eventually if everyone's victims in the society, then, you know, society's going to crumble. Um, we like victims that stand up. Victim, okay, you could be a victim, but you can still stand up and do greater, greater things. Um, you can still stand and go to the gym and whatnot. But when you take away that right, I don't know, it's complicated. Um, like, I always believe that there should be different perspectives and different, um, you can always hear it from both sides, and, yeah. But once, once someone is murdered or something, this obviously can't be, now this side can't be fair. And once you're murdered, there's something you need to bring them back. Um, the whole, I mean, I'm sure murder is traumatizing, um, but, I don't know. Maybe not. Like, the long term, I don't know. So this is a good book. Come on. <laughs> Obviously, everywhere, everywhere in the U.S. you can earn money. Doesn't matter where you are in the desert. If you're in the desert, you're you're in Silicon Valley, man. You're rich. Um, San Bernardino Valley is full of sand too. I think so. It's Dead Valley, huh? Money. 
I'm about to sneeze pretty soon. No wonder my, my co-worker got sick. Hey, my, so my co-worker probably got me sick, bruh. I'm not even that sick, it's just, it's just a fucking cold and I have flu like some, actually, I'm probably sick. Am I sick? I'm, how am I supposed to know I'm sick? I haven't even went to the doctors. The doctor, you know. I have to talk to my doctor, you know, the guy I, I give money to and tell me if I'm sick. I can't just read a book and say, you know, read the symptoms. The doctor's paid to do that, not me. Don't be silly. Why else would a doctor spend, you know, a doctor? <laughs> Dude, you know, it's crazy. Don't doctors just spend a half million dollars just for clout? It's all clout. How you just, you know, you spend half a million dollars, I feel bad. You're, you know, you're paying, you're paying bad, bad fuel of money to, to doctors, essentially. You feel bad, like, you don't want, like, what if you become a doctor, right, you know, you don't want them to, um, obviously, marketing is that very important. I know like some marketing books like this, too. Um, I feel a lot happier just talking now. Like I feel much better just talking. Like normally just talking without fear of being careful. I just been it's been proven time and I can't again. You shouldn't care too much. No, 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 not even that. Um, I'm talking about. I'm, I, I, I'm, I have faith behind the words I say. You know. Whenever I talk, I, you know, obviously, you know, Mr. Ballin talks and he doesn't get canceled because he tells good stories. So I'm telling good stories and then they can. I'm happy. Yes. I don't know how long we've been doing this, but... There's a decent amount of books. I'm happy again. I'm gonna be sad because of the person. The marketing payback. Is your marketing pop go? Probably though. No. I feel like this is so therapeutic. Like I feel happy that I'm talking to myself. I don't know. I'm not even talking to myself, it's just as to, I'm, I'm talking to an audience. But if you talk in, if you bring in a psychologist to my room, and they sees me, he sees me talking to, like, real people, of course he's gonna say I'm crazy. They're paid to do that, they're, they're, there's a job, there's like a soldier, you know, you shoot. Soldiers are paid to shoot enemies, and doctors are paid to, to diagnose, um, di uh, symptoms. And nothing, there's nothing, you know, like a doctor will tell you, there's nothing normal. I mean, no, is is though I can't think of a normal behavior. Like if you're talking normally, your ideas, your ideas, ideas are delusions to them. And but if you don't talk, that's also a symptom of mental illness because you're isolated. It's 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 a weird. Like you can't walk out of of a, a mental hospital perfectly fit and not have a diagnosis. You can be talkative, but if you're actually if you're good looking. Oh, well, if you're good looking though, it's different. You're, you're going to get out for this fine. Um, and if you're healthy, you know, fit, obviously you're, you're going to be checked out just fine. Um, that's you kept. But if you come in there with a beard and, you know, you have shaggy clothes, they're going to gonna say that you're, um, you can't take care of yourself, even if you want to wear, even if you want to wear, you have nice clothes, but you, you want to wear, like, some baggy clothes. Um, and if you don't shave a beard, but you like a beard, um, they're going to say that you're unkept. Um, regardless, of, regardless if your beard's clean, they just want your money, man. They want all, oh, they're trying to do, they're trying to do that, man. Um, inertia. Oh, so.
Oh, well, this is, this is, I thought I was on a plastic ejection, but, oh, I guess not. Marketing is what a hell of a drug, man. Um, how do you know how to market yourself if you don't know people's yet? Just because a good looking guy says something, does not mean it's going to work with a bad person, okay? Um, you just copy and paste it. It's a, it's, you act like a po you'll be a poser then. You know, if you ever, you know, face this cops, hold a guy, hold a, oh, what's this? NDA. I just sit up more straight. Um, just my chair. If I wanted to do repetition, why don't I just pronounce it? I could find the most popular guy in my school, right? And just put put his name on. I'm not. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about hypothetical scenario, theoretical. If I would find a popular guy in my local district or wherever I'm at, and I would put my, I would put his name on my on my shirt, my glasses, or whatever. Um, but I won't talk to him though. Um, I'll just be associated with him like a can of coke, just like. Just like if I got a can of coke, right? Um, of course, that's not legal, though. Also, that's you have to. He's gonna get a shitty order against you, even if you didn't. Even if it's not against the law, you can't really um, because there's law because you're using their likeness, though. Okay. But if you recorded a, I guess you could you could take pictures with them. I guess you could take pictures with them. You be associated with them. But what if he cancels you, though? Um, that's another thing. Some people don't want to be associated with you. Your reputation matters. People were trying to destroy my reputation since... Yeah. Fuck the people that are trying to destroy your reputation. You have to associate yourself with bad people. You win when you're protected. Of course, there's gonna, you're going to always have haters, and when you have haters, you're doing something right. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be stressed out. It, you, you, their moves and your moves can always be calculated. Um, and there's times you have to wait at the storm. And there's steps you have to take. And there's, yeah, honestly the most important step out there is marketing. Looking at all this stuff makes me so happy. I will associate with myself with good people, nice people, God forbidden people, there are lots of people on Discord that are 18 plus that I could associate with and be a winner. We don't like drama, we don't like politics, that's why we assemble as a group.
market ourselves online as a social platform. And you know, we do we care about the profits. You don't care about yourself. You don't care about you shouldn't care when you're running a big company, a corporation, right? You don't care about your own reputation. You only care about your reputation when it affects the company. And usually so you have to care about your reputation as well. You can hide you can hide in the background and have someone else manage your, your PR. Because yeah, chances are the CEO probably is not the best looking guy. Probably is not the a good talker. He's a CEO, but he just he just happens to be the CEO. It's not uh, I don't know. It depends on, but if you're a CEO you're probably a marketing I don't know. But it depends on the circumstances, um I guess. Obviously, I like a good game. I like a good uh, fucking. You know, there's games in real, there's games in life, bro. And marketing is always one of them. People that have been arrested need a marketing professional. Um, what I would do, what I would charge as a service, would I would go to the rest log, the rest logs, and I would have a. I would write good things about them for a year, and if they want to continue me writing these good articles, I would, they would pay me more. They would pay me money for their subscription service. So everyone in town, everyone's been arrested, or whatever, like that, they pay me a fee, and I... Well, at first, I do, I do a free, free with that charge, and then after a while, they... Yeah. Some things are so, like, the more education you have, the happier you're going to be, man. Um, obviously, I, I'm getting educated right now. I feel so much better. I feel, feel like God just hit hit my head again. Because I read these markets. The same things I'm re reading right now. Um, I read these in the past. Almost identical to this, but I haven't read it in a while. Okay. But marketing is a fundamental part of... It's a hierarchy. It's um, it's what matters. Sometimes you are the product. You are the god. You are everything. Um, your name's important. Everything's important. Don't be afraid to put your name out there. That's why we real estate agents out there have their names on there. Sometimes, yeah. And if you if your enemies are gonna attack you, let them attack you. Let them let them say what they want to say. So you can better develop um, a better resource. The only problem, the only problem with that is, if you don't have, if you don't have money, of course it's going to be very hard to defend yourself. But you can have, you have credit, you can open credit to have a, a better. If I was a bank and I had a client come up to me and say, "Well, in order to start this company, I need to protect, protect, uh, build, fix my reputation, you know, I'll use a CEO, and I'd, I'd, I'll give them some money for them servers." But they would have to educate themselves on the search and authorization themselves. I wouldn't blindly trust them with, you know, paying someone else thousand dollars when they could do it for twenty dollars. Um, that's retarded. That's irresponsible. That shows that they're not willing to go far into the business. And I say this because, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, I say this because they should have internet access. They should have all this other stuff. Um, and if they can't have internet access, they should have someone else doing it, doing it for them. Oh yeah, but if they're paying this, if they're paying someone else, like if it's such a, a enormous fee for services that are probably not imperable, well, you know that's yeah. There's a trend on Twitter right now is that if you support helping your children, like if, if you support children, like if you donate to children's hospitals or something, people, this is, I don't know if this Bible thing, but essentially you're going to be called a pedophile or something like that because they want, usually projecting their own insecurities onto you. Um, um, but obviously there has to, there's a large audience that says otherwise. Um, there, of course, is freedom of speech too. That's also freedom of speech. You could not be. You could also just be, you know, expressing their rights. You know, 
if it's a it's a for if it's a, it's a forest area. Um, that it's a far yeah it's it's always a forest area. Um, and usually hysteria creates the whole hysteria creates the scenario which it was trying to avoid in the first place. There's more witches when there's if when there's hysteria there's more witches to be found, despite there being none. So there's victims, there's victims, um Ah, what I'm saying. I hate liars, I hate people. I don't know, people are gonna do whatever they want to protect their own eyes. It's not even that, yeah, well, people have enemies, man. People will discredit you as anything bad. The only thing you do is prop yourself up using a different image or whatever. You know? Let's see. Cancel. Oh, cancel culture. The whole marketing. Can't. Mo okay. You're probably not gonna find cancel culture in this book directly. It's probably gonna be like if your brand suffers a whole, whole scandal, then it's essentially cancel culture. Oh, I see. Yeah. How does cancel culture relate to marketing? Well, cancel bad, less money bad. <laughs> That's so simple. I'm not worried if people think of me. Media exposure, uh, even if you apologize, like, obviously Donald Trump has probably apologized. Some, at point, one point of his life, he's probably apologized for something. It probably in a very narciss narcissistic way, like, oh, I'm sorry to offend you. Right now. But he, okay, but he probably covered that up very well, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, Google makes the most money off all this drama because they rely on people using search engine um, tactics to make money. They're gonna, um, yeah. No one's perfect, of course. You just gotta get your education in line. You don't address anyone or anything. Just make yourself look better. And there's a saying, there's also a saying that too, the harder, the harder the, the, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, I guess, that's like people don't want to get big because they don't want to fall big. But the whole point, the whole point of marketing is so you don't fall, okay? Having the knowledge that you, knowledge of how to not fall is important. So you shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a problem that you get big, okay? If you're big, you're going to have enemies. And marketing is how you contact the enemies. Um... So it's perfectly okay to go big, to aim big, and it's perfectly okay to have haters. What you do need is to have a marketing team behind you at all times. Um, if you wanna, you could even you could even groom people to be politicians. Um, not not little politicians, but politicians like officers in the corporation. Do not like do stupid shit, like tweet stupid shit on Twitter, unless they have a, uh, unless it's gonna get, unless it's gonna get positive attention. There's actually a saying too. Um, there's a saying that um, any any pussy is good pussy, but at the same time, you want to redirect it. You don't want to have a bad rep. Oh, okay. Obviously, people. When I'm angry, I'm not gonna. Oh, if you're not gonna support the police, the, the police. I'm gonna defend the police. Um. But the people courting attention for these bad behaviors are not usually not police officers, okay? They're usually people that don't want to, they, they hate the police. So they're courting attention and they have more power, so they want to defend the peace. But when the, the police obviously, when they upload their own videos with their own, with their own free will, they have, they courted their own attention and they have, they could have their own a, a agenda to create that content. You know, people, well people might not like the police, they also want to, they also like the police when they go against their enemies, okay? CEO, I 
cover shit up. Write a book, have a ghost book, ghost writers. Um, bad person, bad. You know. Those people that hate on you, you know, probably have a horrible shitty life and they're probably not going to go anywhere. Because chances are, if they, if they, they hate on you because they know they're not going to get in the position that you are in. Or they hate on you because they're projecting no insecurities onto you. It's hate is always for, I mean, normally you wouldn't care what people think about you. You wouldn't even know them. Um, all I'm trying to say is, yeah, hate, the hate is, uh, written for you. But there's a few things that you should actually be fearful of, like police and, you know, whatnot. not. That, that's differently than, that's totally different from American, no, no matter if you have the, the best, actually, never mind. If, you, if you're the best PR, you're probably going to get out, but, uh, what was that guy's name? It was Julian, uh, Assange. Yeah, he got out, uh, I think he got, was he killed or assassinated or something? I don't know where he's at now, but, the only reason he was able to escape the government and whatnot was because he had a good PR. Um, he was a very, <laughs> essentially, uh, yeah, he was a guy that behind the weeks. Um, obviously they, um, they try to frame him for many things, they try to accuse him of many crimes. It didn't work because he had a good PR team. Okay. And you do anything, you can, I mean, he was very careful, like, he was very cautious too. He found out he was out of the PR. Care what people think about you? No. Fuck you. This is basic stuff I wish I had. I had a marketing book too, and I don't know what's that now. I don't know. Yeah. I think I donated. I donated the marketing book. Um. I should have. That shit was making. That shit made me happy. Oh, I think I gave that. I don't remember. But. No matter where you are in life, you can always be doing PR. These guys are just spamming my thing. I don't know what they're trying to say. I feel so much better. Okay, what else can I do? CEO. Let's see. I want to show you all this stuff on CEO. This is. Let's see it. So many things. Digital marketing. That's what I should put. Digital marketing. Digital marketing. Let's go down a bit. about digital marketing. All these books that are um, unread, people that buy these courses. Let's see. <laughs> if you're rich, you can do anything you want. Dude, I gotta read all this stuff. Business to business directory sales. I don't wanna read all this stuff. This is actually really... Sh it's just stuff that makes me more happy. Happy. Organization of Shade Lights and Boom. I am so fucking happy. Knowing that there's, there's a glimmer of hope out there. Knowing that there's... Yeah. If my if my brother ever gets bored, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a digital marketer. Whoa! Holy shit!
marketing. Damn. I thought he was gonna come out as gay. No, why would why would he bullied though? See. This is amazing. This is amazing marketing, dude. They see they're so shitty doing this. This is this thing too. I never noticed that subtle. The subtle thing they're doing right here. Okay, think about this page. Think about this page real, like, think about it, like, deeply. They put this article, bullying, and then they put this, uh, sexual assault thing. So, you would associate, you would associate bullying with, uh, violence, but usually the people that are perpetrated are the ones being bullied, right? Because you're bullied for a reason. Okay. Um, obviously Jeffrey Epstein was bullied, if you want to say it like that. So, um... I don't know, yeah, I just, this is obviously, this is very intentional why they put this stuff here. It's not a coincidence at all. Because right here it doesn't say, it doesn't, look at, look at, it doesn't say anything why, why the kid was bullied. See, struggling with his identity and the bullying, it doesn't, it hints, it hints that he's gay, but he also could be a rapist too. You don't know. Because obviously Jeffrey Essen had an identity and he was, oh, it's identity, well, at least according to the media, uh, he was a rapist, okay. Um, yeah. Move it, project This is a typical, this is what I mentioned, like a, like a real journalist. Oh, individual Mandy. What's to say? I like all this. this is this is I wish my I wish the, the my newspaper was like this too. And they always talk about freedom of speech for other people, not just the newspaper. Because usually the newspaper is always talking about freedom of speech for itself, but not freedom of speech for the people. I mean there's people that they put on there, but it's not really it's not really free. It's more like you're it's pushing the agenda. This is a this is like which individual Obamacare. I do that on. I don't get that. Why why is this not a okay, whatever. Oh my god! Oh, see. That's just referred up here. Oh, this guy just got a traffic ticket and he's. You he gotta put it in the newspaper. Obviously, you feel sympathy. Cause these guys, these people that are being blasted on this media right here, they're young people. This is 2022, 20, 19. Um, it's very really newsworthy. Um, this one would be kind of older, but could be just coincidence. But 2020 in their 20s. I wonder if that's intentional. You know, I wonder if it, I wonder if it. Hey, I would probably. What if they're being extorted, like to remove the article? Because right here it says, they're not, they're not, even, they're not even, they haven't been convicted of anything. It just says that they've been arrested or whatever. It doesn't mean that they, they've been convicted. But when the public sees this stuff, I mean, what would they, I mean, they just go to jury and, you know, why not. Okay. Oh, we'll see what this says. Oh, it continues. Yeah, it does. If you don't have a market, if you don't have a marketing team, you know, bullying is often just marketing. I don't know, 
but I, I feel like I feel like the, our school should have guessed this more too. It actually is. Um, it, yeah, it is for publicity, but it's also because it's publicity for a reason. It's not. It's not a scam. Bowling's not a scam. It's real. It's fucked up. And of course, people are gonna say the bullying is fighting. The bullying. The bullying is fighting. I made a newspaper or something. Oh, public relations. Advanced Adventures in Corporation. Case studies. I want to read all this shit. This is cool. Alan Musk obviously was. How was Alan? Actually, how was? Why was Alan Musk bullied? I mean, we, never, we never knew why he was bullied. He was bullied for a reason. Why? Why was that kid bullied? I doubt he was bullied. I'm, I'm sure they beat him up, but why did they beat him up? I'm not saying that he should. I'm not saying that I'm advocating I'm for violence or anything like that. I'm just saying that someone doesn't do that for no reason. The guy owns, the, the guy's family owns, uh, like, mining shit, shit. So, I mean, were they abusing the family, or what the, what the fuck is happening? Wouldn't be surprising if they fucking killed the guys, they killed the bullies. I'm, I'm sure the bullies, like, I'm sure if, if, if there was an investigation of who the bullies were, they probably, like, he's a, he's a rich man, like. Obviously, um, yeah. There's nothing. I don't. There's nothing. If if the, if if it, if he lied about the bullying, he never got bullied at all. I mean, and he's, it's the fiction on the character and whatnot. You know, that's we can make that up. That's just. I don't think. Um. Yeah. How would he? Yeah. He was a narcissist, though. He probably was a narcissist for a reason. To make up for his fucked up life. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna skim through all this stuff. Magazines. Oh, these are simple tact tactics. Who creates news letters though? Should I have a newspaper just for myself? Oh, it's got to get a bit, uh, but yeah, shit. You know, that's... I don't know. I don't want to be like that. I'm actually a very sensible guy. When, I'm, when that makes sense. I just plead with it. I would... I, I wish a town... Um, the town I am in, you know, really understood the, the Constitution a lot better. I wish they understood that, the, you know, we have a Fifth Amendment right to self incrimination you know, protection against self incrimination Because I don't see them in the newspaper that often. Although I've seen them a, a few times, but all the times that they try to, people try to invoke their Fifth, it, it kind of makes them, it looks, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of, it's better, it's good, but it's... I don't know. I would... I don't know what to say. I just wish people... Um, how do I say this? I wish people, um... Paid more attention to our rights. You should never talk to the cops. Never. Ever. Unless you're... You know, a victim of crime. Okay. If you're being bullied, actually not. If you're being harassed, okay. I'm not talking about. There's a difference. Also, there's a difference between free, free, free speech and um. Um. Whatever. I don't know. You should want to document shit. Is it harass- oh, actually, that's- I actually have a question now. There's a question I want to ask. Is it harassment if the person has, like, if it doesn't affect the person at all, you're just saying a bunch of mean shit about them, but it doesn't affect them, 
But it will, it's only harassment when it causes distress, right? If you call someone a pussy, like you call someone a pussy, right? Um, they're, um, no. Oh, holy shit. The officer's just gonna cut that part off though, right? Wait a second, is a non starter blurring out? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You're, you're looking to hide. This is a whole, this is a horrible PR advice. Absolutely horrible. This is stupid. Horrible, horrible advice. Especially with the easy PR, no, this is horrible, fuck this. This is, this is not public relations, this is shitty shit. Feel bad about yourself for writing such a shitty book. Whoever wrote this probably never doesn't even run on a marketing agency. It's just, it's just something. It probably changed the dish. They it, it stole a bunch of shit from an old edition and they added something because they thought it would it look better. Okay.
I'm in the billions of billion dollars now, but okay. Ignorance is not a bliss. Thank you. Look at the security squad, cuz. Yeah. I'd rather that. You guys. Yeah. No. Yeah, but I have a bunch of Chinese books too. Um, they were easier to learn than um, Latin um, or uh, all those other languages. I hate so Russian. Russian is a lot harder to learn than fucking Chinese. Not Chinese, Cantonese. There's this thing as a Chinese. It's like American. It's like saying. It's like saying, do you speak American? There's this thing as speaking. It's Cantonese. There's certain, there's certain dialects too. <laughs> do you speak Te Do you speak Texas? This not even a, is that just a, arrogance? Wouldn't Twitter just be a marketing ploy the whole time? Would it? Yeah, isn't Twitter just a marketing thing? This is awesome! Let's do this! Let's do protocol action uh, committee. Yeah, let's do that shit. Let's go, <laughs> Zion. Let's go. Protocol action committee. Let's do this. Protocol action committee. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. I'm. S Bring you back good memories, good vibes. I'll show you that I'm saying. <laughs> An American propaganda. Let's go back. Let's let's go back down. Let's go back down. Let's see. What are the regulations? Decision making. Let's do this. Be elect, which elect something. My politicians, political groups. Let's go, like minded people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lloyd, I'm 
sign. How sus. Suspicious. Not even the front cover, it's on the... Your vote, obviously, the, the pack is more important than the fucking vote, okay? I'm gonna say that right there. Thalons, even Thalons can uh, donate money to a pack, okay? It's not evil at all. So, usually, not only that Thalons cannot, it's hard to get a job, let alone donate to a fucking pack has leftovers, so sort of paying that shit for college or, or, or um, employment. No, not employment. Renting, you know, that's just shows that they're gonna sacrifice because money is freedom to them. Money is freedom to everyone. Obviously, if they have more money, they can comp complete their goals or whatever their objectives are. Is this public money? I want to see. Like, do you say your name? Or just say... Okay, these are the rules. Let's read the rules. I support your cause. I have your money. Yes, we are all powerful people. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, I just. What are the laws? I can. Can balance? I actually, I'm pretty sure balance can do that. I'm pretty sure balance can. Don't need to backs, okay? It doesn't make any it doesn't make any sense why you shouldn't be able to because then you're just stripping essentially you're just creating this slavery but without like any way that like, there's no say at all. Like not even a not only can they not vote, okay. They also can't um I would, I would, I would start a pack to start fixing up the, the justice system. That is the most important thing, because, yeah, this is actually a really well thought out system. Originally, I, I'm guessing the original thing that they were, like the prison system, of course, is obviously, um, good. Yeah. Yeah, those are my ideas. A network 
group of people. A group of people. Yeah, this is good. This is so good. Red election. I feel, I feel so fucking better when you're in this shit. I feel like my brain just like grew like three times as big. It's all there is. Money. You just have to follow the packs. Holy shit, if I was part of a pack, I could be a billionaire. A pack is the union. The pack is the world. It's a form of speech, and people are not, and people, of course people are not going to like your speech. Okay? Yes, I feel so much better reading such intellectual works of art that is a pack system. It's so simple. If whoever invented this system, you're a genius. You solved the world problems. You know? The little, yes, this even accounts for the little people. The little people, yes. The large majority of people. You know, and you would only use the pack, right, if you're being discriminated against. But if you're doing just fine, you wouldn't need a pack in the first place because you have nothing to advocate for in the first place, so you wouldn't need it for money, and that's you kind of get, uh, and you probably, if things are, okay, things are not alright, okay, you wouldn't even threaten, like, you wouldn't even know, by the time something does, like, if a change is going to happen through, like, a, another pack, you wouldn't know, because they're not, they're not focusing on you, they're not react, don't react to defend the pack in the first place, and they probably want to avoid eliminating you in the first place anyways. Yeah, I doubt anyone's, you know, this whole point of being non-political is for a reason. That's why Paul, yeah. No, this is funny. The hospital, 
the Koch brothers survived by the fucking tax system. Yes, that's true. I'm telling the truth. Um, all these anti things could have been solved by the tax system. The tax system. Okay, let's see. Let's see Cash Brothers. The dark, it's called Dark Money, that's the book called. It's a huge investigation. This is the book I read. They're richer than the fucking, um... Who wrote this book, God saying? Um, <coughs> pretty sure it was a ghost writer. It's not even dark money because they're doing that legally. Like, legally, it is dark money, but it's not at the same time. Like, the cash writers are actually good people. They, they fund, they helped. They really are people that rejuvenate the, like, people that are getting a prison on shit. They, they give them jobs, okay? Uh, they're good, they're really good people. Everyone knows about the Koch brothers. Yes, I do. Koch brothers are red for how many times are they referenced? Three thousand four three thousand four hundred and fifty one. Or three thousand five hundred and forty one. Okay. Now, how many times did that book research? Surprisingly zero. Surprisingly zero money. That's surprisingly. I see the views. Just the views. Okay. I'm surprised that this has this many views. Nope. Nope. Gosh, brothers. Oh, even in 19... 1917. I would put their name because they, they yeah, I, 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 would, I would put their name on my fucking. They're good. It's a good brand. Okay, let's go relevance. Let's see if this is even the full book. Let's put this. Okay, I'm the first to go on this. Okay, a radical right? What not? Well, I, I read this book in the past, but it wasn't digital. The Koch brothers are an amazing group of people. Cause this, I mean, I would, I would think so, right? Obviously, they made their money off the co their oil. Okay, no shit. Obviously, we have democratic policies because, yeah, this political mumbo jumbo. They're old school people, they're still stuck in the 1940s or whatever. Um, they're all about oil, they're pretty straightforward. You should normally you wouldn't give a fuck about what, 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 this guy, what these guys believe in, because they have so much money. They know the system well, they're not doing anything illegal. Um, so they're investigating whether, they don't, even the IRS doesn't know, like, the IRS can accuse you of anything, they don't have any, they don't have anything on these guys, because they're, they're doing things straight by the books. Yes, sir. Technically, they're evil, but they're, they're chaotic good. Okay. So you can say I very much constitution because the PAC system is a con is entirely constitutional. And of course, you can form them. He hires he hires criminals, right? And the criminals, of course, you know, funnel money. They they give money to the PAC system, which funds the politicians, which creates a cycle. The bonuses are probably the pack limit.
gods and just for Yeah, I wouldn't buy their shit. Yeah, a ballot box. Yeah. They're not even, they're not even, they're not even that sneaky, they're not even that charismatic, it's just that the money is charismatic. Um, yeah, they even try to run for president, dude, I think so. Oh. But wait a second, oh my god. I forgot about this one, my friend, can we see this right in front of him? Don't. These are literally, these are literally guys that are murderers. Not even that. Um, this is just no, there's no proof. Wait, wait, wait. The plastic bag, she left the bag. Dude! That's sus! But again, they're constitutionalists. They care about the constitution because they, they believe in due process. Because any, you know, suicides in this family. I mean, we obviously know that. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Why would you commit suicide? Are they all legal or. I don't know. How does she want? Where are they located mostly? I heard they're. Oh, oh right there. Are they located? Actually, they're located in every state. Because anytime you go to Walmart or something like that, there's toilet paper. Usually, they're usually the Kosh Brothers. Lobbying. One thing I noticed about this, actually, the patent system wouldn't even affect them anyway because these are old patents. That's why oil is such a crazy industry. Obviously, the, the new, a new Koch brother will probably be infringing someone's patents and not give a fuck. Okay. Even if he's, yeah, rightfully so, obviously. He just lobby some congressman or some, I don't know. Uh, you just have to exchange some words, okay? And, uh, there's a movie on this shit too, which got me so interested in the movie. I don't know. I don't even know where I heard about the Koch brothers from. I just heard about them from somewhere. I don't. I don't. I don't exactly. I don't. I don't know exactly where I learned this shit from. Oh, see. I trust the Koch brothers more than the FBI, okay? Because obviously the Koch brothers don't have real power. They're not federal agents directly. They work with federal agencies, but they're not federal agents themselves. Um, again, you're trying to paint this guy as unethical. It's something. It's not legal to be unethical. It's not legal to be corrupt. Um, and something and depends on your definition of corrupt, okay? They're using legal systems, like the PAC system, to fund their ideas or whatever. Which is what the system was made up for. See what the see this is. I wonder if this was before the fucking... In Did they change the laws on this? Wait, wait, wait. wait I just heard. Is this legal? This is even legal. Come on. Ha! Such laws were never enforced. Yeah, because most people want to do is. I mean, good for them, man. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I really don't care. Because so far, they, they have done a lot of good shit, too. They lobbied for good shit. I don't. Obviously, the, I don't. I don't totally believe in the Free Air Act at all. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying it's not real. It is real. I just think it's. Uh, I just think people should do what they. 
there's three people should have the freedom to choose if they want to use clean air or not. And people should sue the people. Actually, is that is that is that what the Clean Act is? I'm I'm, I'm retarded. Maybe maybe the, it is stupid. But hey, hey, I, I, it's not even that I agree with them. It's just that I understand where they're coming from. If I if I was running a multi-billion dollar company, you know, putting all these fumes in the air, I'd probably all of that too. I, I get their perspective, okay. Koch wanted to shoot the government, the military. I can see why, because from his perspective, you had a bunch of criminals and they don't, they don't really care about. They want to spend, you know, their own beliefs and whatnot. What if everyone, you know, imagine this, okay, imagine the whole world changed, okay. Imagine a world where the only people that can get jobs are people with criminal records. It's essentially what the Koch brothers kind of did. Um, more, the criminals have more money than the, than the rich and the than innocent people, or how you sell, or people just haven't been caught. You know, calling taxes theft, the free man, da 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 da. I like the, yeah. Of course, people are gonna say, I don't even, they're, they're not even gonna say, they're not gonna even give a fuck what I think. I'm not, I'm a nobody, uh, but, right now I'm. But, um, Perspectively, in, like even these people, even the cash are kind of nobodies too. Um, in the long scheme of things, because they can't really, they can't hold for presidents or anything like that. They could, uh, well, actually, um, can they? Actually, I mean, judging by how everything is going on here. Okay, they opened. Okay, there's a law. Okay, that says this is what I, I understand. Your law, I'm not a lawyer. Okay, that a corporation can only fund, um, can only give this much money, like 10, 10k or something. I don't remember the number. So what the cash brothers did was just they just opened a bunch of they opened more corporations, more companies, more non profits, and used that money to fund political things. Even though there's a law that technically says you couldn't do that, but I kind of see their perspective because if they were funding politicians, could the Congress, the Congress people in power, could have just changed that law and granted them immunity? Um, yeah, like they were playing the law, they were playing a risky game, but don't. So this is a good uh, playbook to work by. It's just that no one stopped them. They, they did stuff in secret, and then by the time everyone found out, it was too late. Like, people... I mean, what part are you? You know? Um, yeah. Even Donald Trump, even Donald Trump called the, the Koch brothers out. Like, I, I admire, I look up to these guys, because, obviously this stuff, obviously I'm not gonna lie before, you know, anti-Clean Air Act, but, um, even, you know, even then, like, you don't even know, I don't even know what the loss, that, what they're lobbying against. It just says, it has a suspicious, it has a suspicious, it has a suspicious name that seems like a good thing, but I haven't read the bill, okay? And it could be a totally bad thing. It could say, you know, slavery or something like that, and it could just say, a funny little cooking name looks good, you know? Maybe the cost are the good, good people here. Um, yeah. I don't know for sure because uh, the book the book gives you the book is not, not the, the book's not biased okay it, it's obviously a reporter a journalist they're just telling you what they because I had, I had the book too they were not entirely like they, they told the truth okay <coughs> uh. Holy shit, dude! 
What is this? Wait, 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 let's go by the way. I see a, alright, David H. Crouch, Human Origins. The message of the existence funded by his fortune was that human race had evolved for better in his bonds. Underground city is in short. That's what China did, dude! These people are geniuses! They're geniuses, because why would you live on the surface where there's nuclear bombs everywhere, right? It doesn't make any sense. This is the Kosh brothers were onto something. I feel very sick. That's actually sick right now. Brothers covered a lot of shit up, dude. But uh, it's probably like a lot of lies too. Like, I wanna, I wanna put a real scenario out there. Okay. Usually, when someone gets this powerful, there's usually people out there are haters that want to destroy their reputation. They would call them anything in the book, right? Um, shit. A pedo, um, uh, rapist, murderer, whatever like that. But you know, for some reason, you don't see that often. They're labeled as corrupt evil, but none of those other bad things. Um. She's himself as gay. I wonder why, see, they, this, so, two th okay, let's see. Base! Okay, this is what happened. Okay. Who? wait, let's see. Which cop brother is this? Oh no, this is a politician. I thought this is the cop brother. I think it doesn't the cop brothers come out as gay too. Like I remember, if you look at like the cop, the way I think the way I remember now is um the cop brothers um they never had an armed women. They always hung around themselves. They never um they had they never had any women around them. They I don't think they even had any children, did they? money. Yeah, this is actually a good system. Because, not only, because obviously the power is always run, run by the money, you know. And obviously, money controls everything, right? It's root of all, it's just root of all you and it's embedded in a con congressional system, right? Obviously, if, if, I would rather money be the root of all you than you don't. It's not, it's, it's worthless paper, and that is controlling society, okay? Um, Me off. I, I can't think of a better system. Honestly, you're not. You can't really base a system on people's goodwill. You can, unless it, like, if they have like the like, brain chips inside them, or were nationalized to such an extent that, like in China, they, I mean, they, they, um, they, um, they tried to, um, they hate, they have like these, like, the, like a club leaders, they, they shame them and all that stuff. Not so much here, they're kind of global, globalized. Which makes it easy for us to, you know, do it to other countries. 
without being guilt because we, we were not taught to shame. Honestly, even though the money is the root of all evil, eventually people are going to die and people are going to replace, you know, if even family hairs. Like, if they're not educated, like, in some fashion, like, Calum College is obviously, if there's no college, if we had a college, if we, if we got rid of all the colleges in the U.S., even though there's YouTube and all that stuff, I mean, the U.S. would probably be very disorganized in the way they, the way they think and how they process shit and how they, uh, probably very good, but, like, there'd be some people just to be more, um, very organized, oh. I don't know what to, I don't know what to imagine. I'm imagining the world. I don't know how the world will be. I would imagine if, if there's no colleges. Actually, that is, that, that is what happened during COVID. We could have gone on campus. And there was no college, and people weren't un uneducated for a while. Well, of course, the internet changed all that shit, too. And, and we quickly... It took a while to adapt, but most people went online. Surprisingly, there's some people out there that you know, probably went to jail or something. You know, never experienced it. Actually... Actually, no, they, they probably did because they had a, they had a, because they re released a lot of prisoners too. <coughs> That's why after, during COVID there was a bunch of drones flying around to watch all these crews. Market Addressing Group. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein did not do this shit. I don't think he did. I'm surprised he committed suicide. Is, it, is that is it is that the end? Oh, maybe 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 all donors are destined to commit suicide or something. I don't know. Because all all like yeah. Cost presents are only good people. Alright, I like it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. They're a free market society, okay? They, they work hard, they're hell bent on the American dream, okay? What options are wrong? Walmart. 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 Jeffrey, no. Donor Network. I want to say I'm a part of. I'm a part of. Uh, I'm. Uh, uh, how did it say? I'm part. I am part of a. I'm part of a free. I'm part of a free. Yeah, avocado. <laughs> Good that we feel better. Knowing all the secrets. No matter what, and, and, the, and the fun thing about this suit is that no matter how much they donate, they can never, um, they can never really successfully override the, the, the person or anything like that. Unless they a lot of money, because they couldn't even manage, I don't think they could even manage that much money. Like, I don't know. They could probably manage one political side. I, I don't think. Can we fund both? Maybe it's possible. Okay, it's possible. I don't know what I'm saying. It just seems to. Um, can they? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, who who that who else would who else would be able to change the policy than rich people? If you're rich, you're rich. You can do stuff.
should go to the first store every day. Get some books. You know what I mean? I still have all this stuff to read. I don't know how many books I read today. I read like about 10. Good to know. Very good book, dude. This is a, a real journalist, like, this is a, not, I mean, obviously I'm a journalist too, but obviously this is a, one of the topper ones. Um, they put a lot of citations, they made it so clear, they, they told us truth, it, it, it was like a, it was like a, it's like a, uh, yeah. I wish news articles would be like this, okay? It's so that they put all these citations, they did everything, they had so many people in power, they had so many, such a, they had so many witnesses as well. I'm sure they did, they probably did this as Jeffrey Epstein or something like that, or some... There's people, there's books that already about Donald Trump already, okay, there's lots of them. I haven't read them personally, but... This is the most... If I were to talk, if I were to talk, like... Even, even, uh... Amazon, I don't think Amazon, does Amazon have a pack? Probably. It's so, it's so nice seeing all this stuff, they see... The think tanks and all this stuff. Right, you don't need all this money that you don't need, you don't need all this money. All you need is Twitter, okay? You know, Donald Trump did all this stuff without doing all this PAC stuff. And they didn't really he supported candidates, just like the Koch brothers, but he was a candidate himself, okay? Yeah, you know, this looks um I don't know if you watched that movie. It was a movie about campaign financing. I don't know what it's called, but it was, it was instead of the Koch brothers, it was the Mosh brothers. It's the same girl, I think. Where'd she, where she graduate? See where she went. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't even say she went to college. You don't even go to college. See, that's another thing that I like what they thought they do. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not all about clout. Or maybe the college she went to is shit, shit, but I wouldn't put my college either. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go.